Hi, this is a quick tutorial for lectors and cantors on properly placing the microphones uh, during mass uh, before your reading, as well as bringing the microphone out of the charger and returning the microphones to the charger both before and after mass. Just a quick tutorial, please watch. As you enter the music closet, you'll notice to your immediate left the music rack and on top of it are the two wireless microphones for use at the AMBO and the lectern. The AMBO mic is on the left hand side, the lectern mic on the right hand side, and they should be properly seated in the charger. Before mass, simply remove the microphones from the charger. First come out to the lectern. You may turn on the microphone first and insert it in to the microphone holder. Most people don't have a problem with using the microphone holder at the lectern. If you do, if it's too tall for you, simply grab by the gooseneck and lower it. That's all you have to do. Grab it by the gooseneck and lower it. If you need it raised, grab it by the gooseneck and raise it. And it's as easy as that. You always want to have the microphone slightly beneath your chin so that when you're reading down into it, and remember, when you're setting it up, remember you're going to be reading. So have the microphone underneath your mouth as if in the reading position. Now, the AMBO microphone is a little, little more difficult because that's what you're really focusing on using during the Mass. Again, before Mass, turn on the microphone switch, insert it into the microphone holder, and different people have different styles when it comes to how they read. For instance, if your reading for the Mass is on the left-hand side of the page, there's probably little that you have to do. One thing that I've noticed is a lot of lectors, if they're reading from the right-hand side of the page, they want to move the microphone over. Trust me, it is much easier simply to slide the book slightly over so that it is sitting in front of you and the microphone. That way you do not have to change your stance in the AMBO whatsoever. You're perfectly positioned in the center of the AMBO and you can read from the center and not have to look over to the side or change the position of the microphone. These microphones are very lively. They are. One of the problems that we have is people are whispering, are not speaking loud enough into the microphone. You should be able to hear the sound of the microphone, the PA system, in the room while you're speaking. If you can't, then neither can the congregation. They can't hear you either. We're not telling bedtime stories here. We're giving readings from the Bible, from the lectionary. Um, now, different people are at different heights. Right now, this microphone is set up very well for my height. As we mentioned, it is just below my chin, and the reason being is when I'm reading, I'm looking down. If you have a very loud voice, you can always stand back slightly. If you have a soft voice, you can always stand more close to the microphone. But literally, a distance of about six to eight inches from the microphone is ideal. If you're a cantor and you're singing during Mass, at either the lectern or the ambo, it's often best to stand slightly back while you're singing because when you sing, you often have a much louder voice than when you're talking. Again, the key is your height in relation to the microphone. And we don't expect you to grow or shrink while you're, while you're speaking into the microphone. But one thing that I do notice that has become uh, very noticeable, especially over the last several months, people wanting to grab the microphone 
and change this. And when you change this, it makes a lot of noise. You should not ever, while the microphone is live during a mass setting, be grabbing the microphone itself. Any adjustments to the microphone should be made from the gooseneck. And this doesn't matter what kind of microphone, what church, or, or where you're presenting at. If you notice any, uh, anybody using the smaller gooseneck microphones uh, that have the very small eclectic element on them, not nearly as good for singing as these microphones are. They don't grab it by the little microphone element up at the top. No, they're always grabbing by the gooseneck. So the same goes to you. If you're shorter, move the microphone down with the gooseneck. It makes virtually no sound whatsoever. If you grab it by the microphone and make that adjustment, it sounds like you're wrapping your hand around a latex balloon. You don't want that sound during mass. So again, gently grab the gooseneck, lower it. If you're taller and the person before you was, was shorter, simply grab the gooseneck and raise it up. If you do that, the microphone will essentially always be in the same position behind the, the ambo here. Um, left, right, it's just an up and down motion. Not a left motion, not a right motion. You should never be swinging the microphone out of the way in order to read your reading. Again, the microphone itself should be in the center of the book and make sure it's there before Mass and there after Mass for the next readers. After Mass, simply remove the microphone, turn it off, and return it to the charger. And don't forget about the lectern microphone. Again, remove it from the gooseneck and turn it off and then we head back to the music closet to put these back into the charger. After Mass, make sure once again that the light is not illuminated on the bottom of the microphone. It is in the off position. The Ambo mic should be placed in the charger. It should fit in nice and easy. Don't jam the microphone into the charger. When it is in there securely, you will notice that the red light is illuminated, meaning that the microphone is charging. Repeat the same process with the lectern microphone, making sure it is off and placing it in the charger nice and easy. If it jams in there, it will not be seated properly because on the bottom of each of these microphones is a little metal strip there that you see there. That metal strip actually correlates to a charging strip that's in the charger. So once properly seated, it goes in there and that's it.